Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here. Let's talk today about Hike Vision NVR, Hike Vision camera, and the OnVIF protocol. As you can see, I have this NVR connected to my network. I have the LAN cable here that connects to a switch where I have cameras, and then I have the HDMI cable. So that's the reason you see the image here on the monitor. Okay, and of course, I have power for the NVR. So the NVR is basically working with the image of the camera that I have here on my window. So I'm using uh, Axis camera and the OnVIF protocol. You can see here that has the Axis logo. And I also have here a regular high vision camera on this left side, okay? Using high vision protocol. But you can use either high vision protocol or OnVIF protocol on this NVR. And I'm gonna teach you how you can do that, right? So here I also have a computer, as you can see, I have a screen and I can see the NVR using a web browser. So I have the first camera, which is a hike vision. And then I have the Axis camera, which is using the OnVIF protocol, okay? And so you can see sometimes the camera just disappear from here and then you need to wait a little bit so the camera can come back. That's because the camera is sending the stream via network, right? So basically I have here the NVR with the cameras and here I have the camera itself. That's the high vision camera. I can also access via web browser. And here I have the access camera via web browser, right? So OnVIF, how it works. You need to enable OnVIF in the cameras so you can have the camera working on the NVR. For example, here I have access camera. And then I need to come to system and here on OnVIF and enable the OnVIF protocol then I can go to the NVR and add the camera there, right? As you can see, I have this access camera uh, with the OnVIF user. I created an OnVIF user here. The name is admin. And then the camera is ready to go with the OnVIF protocol. When I come here back to the NVR, right click, I can come here to add IP cameras. And let me just come here to this menu. And then I have the options here to add the camera. As you can see, the camera number two here, which is the Axis camera, it's using OnVIF. And the first camera is a high vision camera, it's using high vision, right? So that's the way it works. It's pretty simple. When I come to the this camera here, to the configuration, for example, I double click, then I can choose the manual configuration. Here's the camera IP. And then I choose the OnVIF protocol. I have different protocols here for different cameras, but OnVIF is universal. So I'm going to use OnVIF here and I just input the username and the password, okay? Which username and password? The one that I created there on the camera. So back here on the camera, I have the OnVIF username and OnVIF password. It's not the main username and password for the camera. It's the OnVIF user password, okay? So basically that's how it works, okay? And now with the high vision camera, I have options to enable the OnVIF protocol. If I come here to the configuration, then I need to look for a network and advanced adv adv settings. And here you can enable OnVIF as well. So you come here, enable OnVIF, and you create a user as well. Don't forget to create a user here. On the horizon, it doesn't work. Okay, so basically you just need to click here on add, you put a username and a password, and choose if you want to use media user, operator, or administrator. Okay, administrator is better because depending on the NVR you're using or the software you're using, uh, they need to communicate with the camera and need the privileges of an administrator, for example. So it's better to use that way. Okay. And basically that's it. This is for the camera. You can just enable on VIF on the camera. For the NVR, if I come here to the NVR, also in configuration, and come to the network menu in advanced settings, I don't have the options for on VIF. It's different, okay, compared to the camera. The menu is similar, but doesn't have the options here for OnVIF. That's because OnVIF is already enabled here on this NVR, right? So then you can add uh, the OnVIF camera. So let's come back here to the NVR. I can do either from here, for, from the Hike Vision web interface, okay? Or I can come to the NVR and do from the NVR. So let me just come back here to the NVR. And here, as you can see, let me just cancel. And I have this camera, which is a, a high vision camera. Let me just double click here and change it. 
Remember that I enabled uh, OnViv protocol on the Hikvision camera, so I can come here and choose the menu, uh, camera's IP address, Hikvision protocol, I'm gonna change to OnViv. In here, I need to input the username and password. Let me just put the password here. So here you go. Basically, I have the information for the username, password for the OnViv protocol. Here we go. I have OnViv protocol. Hit OK and wait for the camera to connect. So what I'm doing here is using OnViv with the uh, high vision camera. As you can see now, the protocol is OnViv and the camera is working. When I come back here to the main screen, I see the uh, high vision camera and access camera as well, right? Both of them working with the OnViv protocol. Okay, you don't need to do that for high vision cameras because high vision camera with high vision VR, they, they work better when you're using the same protocol, uh, the native protocol. Okay, because high vision has its protocol for the NVR and also for the cameras. So it's, it's, it's a good idea you come here to the IP configuration and change here from OnViv to high vision. Okay, but if you're using a different uh, software or different NVR, then you can use OnViv here because the other software sometimes it doesn't have the option for high vision or the other NVR doesn't have the option for high vision. Then you come here and you can use the OnViv protocol for the cameras. But in this case, I just want to use high vision because it's better, right? Let me just put the password here again. Here we go. So I have the password and now for the high vision protocol, I hit OK. And I'm coming back to the high vision protocol instead of OnViv. So the status is OK. And I hit save here and I have the image for the high vision and also for the axis. And now each one of them using different protocol. So I have the high vision using high vision protocol and axis using OnViv protocol. OK, so that's the idea. You can use OnViv protocol on your high vision camera. You just need to enable there. Then you can come to the NVR and choose this protocol. If you if you're using high vision camera, you can only uh, can just use high vision protocol. If you're using different NVR, you can use only protocol them. Okay. So that's all for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.